Welcome to the AI traffic video where we'll be going over the waypoint system that these follow, as I said in the previous videos. Okay, the code of this video will be down in the description below. As always, you can go check it out. And now I'll try to explain it how it works. Okay, first of all, we have this sidewalk that they can walk to. What this sidewalk has is these waypoints. Each and every waypoint has a node attached to it. And the script that holds a node is called waypoints. So all a node has inside is a previous waypoint and a next waypoint. This width is totally optional. You can just delete it if you want to. To create a new path, what you can do is simply attach a game object to this pedestrian walk and then create a new waypoint. Now we're going to demonstrate how we can create a brand new one using this waypoint manager. Okay, let's create a empty game object. And this is the game object. For now, we're going to put it in here. Let's create a path that goes all the way over to here. And now all we have to do is attach this game object into this waypoint root. After we do that, all we need to do is hit create waypoint. Now we have a waypoint. This is the root waypoint that we're going to put it in here. Next thing you need is obviously multiple waypoints so what we're going to click is create waypoint after now we have a route so in here pedestrians can walk so let's create now a little bit of a path and i'll be back okay this is the path that i created it goes to a certain point and then it comes back the, re the reason that it comes back is that it needs to loop so the finish has to connect with the start so the way we're going to loop that is by taking the last point and attaching it to a first point. So now we have a loop. You can confirm that you have a loop well, when you see these lines connecting these. Now don't forget to connect the first one as well because this one is missing a previous waypoint. So we're gonna add the last waypoint and now we have a loop. Now all that's left to us to, is to spawn pedestrians inside this game object. Now to spawn pedestrians, I've made a simple script here is the script. This is all it does. It takes in a pedestrian and then it takes in um, a amount of pedestrians that we want to spawn and then it simply spawns them. Let's attach that script inside this game object. Inside the game object, we're going to increase the pedestrian size to one. We can add as many as we want, but, but for now we have just one. And let's grab our pedestrian in here. We want to spawn in 50 pedestrians. You don't have to click this spawn AI. And now all that's left to do for us is just to hit play. Okay, here is our pedestrians working, or should I say walking. We have a total of 50 pedestrians walking in this very sidewalk. And now you can notice one thing. The frame rate is not very high. But we're going to fix that in another video. In this video, we're just going to check how this works. And you can see some of them are walking towards and some of them are working in reverse. Okay, the last thing that is left for us to explain is this waypoint manager system. How do you get this inside of Unity? Well, to get that inside of Unity, first you need a editor folder. The way the editor folder works is that you simply create a folder and name it editor inside the assets folder. And then whatever you drop in here is going to show up in your tools. These two scripts can also be found in the video description and all they do is manage the waypoints. So this one simply draws lines, as you can see, gizmos, so we can visualize them better. And this one manages the waypoint system. So creates before, after, and it can remove a waypoint completely. And that's basically how the AI works. Okay, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next videos. But before you go anywhere, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll try to answer them in the comment section. And thank you for watching.